in the earlier videos we have seen you we have shown um, what kind of a statistical tests appropriate for single factor uh, two factors um, variables for example you want to test uh, the height of US population so you are testing one single um, factor say US male or US female um, in the that kind of situation you could use uh, a single sample t-test um, there is another situation uh, where we want to compare two different things for example the height of US male and the height of Canadian male and uh, in that kind of situation we can use two sample t-test um, however if we have uh, three things to compare for example we are interested in comparing uh, Tylenol paracetamol and placebo uh, if that is the question then we cannot do t-test anymore uh, we'll have to um, do some another test called the general name for that test is called analysis of variance now there are many different types of analysis of variance but to start with this is the most um, uh, simple type of analysis of variance um, so less um, it's, it's similar to what we have done for uh, t-test and uh, um, so to start with the um, hypothesis testing uh, with three um, populations uh, first thing step number one uh, is the introduction which is the hypothesis part writing the hypothesis so uh, null hypothesis uh, there are two types of hypothesis. Null hypothesis, typically, it is expressed using H0, uh, and then it is written as mu, uh, in this case, Tylenol. So these values are the, the number of hours it takes to um, get rid of headache. So if you take Tylenol, it takes about two hours. If you take paracetamol, it takes about two hours. And if you take placebo nothing it takes about three hours to uh, get rid of the headache uh, so the mean time of reducing headache for from Tylenol equals the mean time of uh, reducing headache using paracetamol and then the um, this is equal to the mean time of uh, reducing hazard headache if you don't take anything so placebo and then alternative hypothesis would be um, any of the above um, pair is not uh, equal so it could be that only this uh, Tylenol is not equal to paracetamol they take same time if you take Tylenol or paracetamol it could be that paracetamol is um, not equal to placebo it could be that Tylenol is not equal to the placebo so you could have three pairs and any if any of these pair is not equal then we the alternative is happening now step number two is the method in this case um, this is a introductory design of experiment lecture so simply we just say um, analysis of variance but um, this is a very generic name there is no experiment name called analysis of variance uh, there could be many different kinds which uh, in future I will produce some design of experiment advanced videos where you will see what are the different kinds of analysis of variance but for this lecture just simply analysis of variance should be enough so in this case we have only one single factor we are testing only medicine and it has three levels so there are a couple of things I need to mention here something called factor which is basically a, a variable and and typically it has multiple levels uh, so in this case uh, the factor is the medicine headache medicine I would say and then uh, the uh, levels of the factor would be 
levels of the factor are the tylenol paracetamol and placebo now step number two step number three the result now we need to produce the uh, p-value from the uh, analysis of variance now um, these days we have software available so i don't prefer to use the basic formula but you can consult any statistical books um, for these formulas but we can simply go to the data tab in excel and then go to data analysis then you can pick uh, an over single factor hit ok and then input range basically select all of these and then say levels in the first row i have levels in the first row if you if you leave this new worksheet apply so it will produce the result in a new worksheet and this is the alpha value level of significance you could change if you want but typically it's 0.05 it's not necessary to change that and hit ok so this is the anova output from the single factor anova output from single uh, factor uh, ANOVA uh, single factor ANOVA now Excel call this one way and that's the same as the single factor uh, so all we are interested is in this p-values so p-value of null hypothesis I'm gonna copy that to the next cell here so this is the p-value of the null hypothesis which is very very low um, this is basically 0 0.000, 15, 0, 0.000, 15.0, then 8. So um, the probability of happening null hypothesis is very, very low. So the probability of happening null hypothesis is very, very low. Um, so basically that will not happen. So in the result section, you write that we um, we reject um, the null hypothesis, or you can say um, we accept the alternative. On the other hand, oh, alternative hypothesis. because the p-value which is basically zero is smaller than the level of significance which is 0 0.05 in the contextual conclusion part say step number four is the contextual uh, contextual conclusion basically rewrite the accepted hypothesis um, rewrite the accepted hypothesis so we accepted the alternative therefore the is statistically the time um, that takes to reduce headache uh, from the medicines are not same so they take different times uh, however we don't know which one is different than with what uh, we have to do a test called uh, post hoc analysis which is basically when you find the statistically significant result so this is a when you reject the null hypothesis that means that's a significant uh, result significant result means you have to perform something called post hoc analysis uh, this is nothing but basically after analysis to understand 
uh, which one is higher which one is lower which one is better medicine uh, and which one is the worst medicine to understand that we have to do post hoc analysis which we will explain in the next video